Do you want to watch a movie? It's a question that has been asked time and time again by many different people. Nowadays, for me and my wife, we usually agree on something to watch together. But for a lot of other people, picking a movie is like deciding what you want to eat for dinner. Everyone is indecisive and doesn't want the burden of picking something the others aren't interested in. But once butts are on couches and snacks are on the coffee table, the challenge usually ends up being that the group browses endlessly on a streaming service. I'm sure you've been there before. You spend so much time looking for a movie to watch that once you do do potentially find something, the enthusiasm might not be there anymore. That's a problem that the two of us have faced, both in our household as well as spending time with family and friends. Fortunately, I have a solution to offer anyone who has ever faced this issue. I can't say that it's foolproof, but it is something. My dear viewer, have you ever considered the fact that you can check movies out from your local library? That underappreciated truth is the subject of today's video. I'm Zach Kircher, and you're watching Kircher Talks Entertainment. Depending on what time of day it is, and with the type of group you may be in, making a spontaneous trip to the library for a movie might not make much sense. You'd probably have better luck perusing the inventory of the red box at your local Walgreens. But if you have a chance to go check out your local library, why not check out what they have on their shelves? After all, libraries aren't just places for books. They're repositories of knowledge and art where people can experience stories of all kinds. Heck, some libraries even have video games you can check out. But the cool thing is, at least from my experience visiting the library right by my house, that there is a great variety of movies to find on library shelves. They can range from a vast array of different genres and eras, in which the movie section can satisfy one's itch for unapologetic entertainment, or expose them to artful cinema they probably wouldn't have discovered otherwise. And of course, if you have a library card, you can check out a whole stack of movies for free, that is if you're not a goober and return everything before incurring late fees. The incentive to return your checked out items is a good motivator to suggest movies for those special occasions because then he could say something like, Hey man, I got this movie from the library recently that I think you guys would like. Let's put it in. There are other financial benefits associated with going to the library as well. Suppose you want to cut down on streaming services, especially if the apps you have downloaded and subscribed to no longer feature anything you're interested in. So, why not cancel those subscriptions? After all, there have been many instances where my wife and I have thought of a movie we would want to watch, only to find that it's not available anywhere for no additional charge. If my wife and I don't feel like spending four or five bucks on a VOD rental, we'll search up a movie on our local library's database, and I will then place it on hold to pick up in a day or two. The act of placing these holds is what motivates me to catch up with movies I had long intended to watch. Even when I see thumbnails for intriguing titles on a streaming service, I'll momentarily think, oh yeah, I've been meaning to watch that, but then usually I'll just keep on scrolling. Maybe that's more of a me problem, but going to the library and then leaving with a stack of movies results in a greater incentive for me to actually watch movies that I'm interested in. I've I found that this has also helped me in situations where other people, such as co-workers, randomly tell me about a movie they loved. You've all been there. Hey man, have you seen Hot Rod? Nah, is it any good? Oh dude, it's so funny. It's one of my favorites. I can't believe you haven't seen it. You totally should watch it. Okay, yeah, I'll make sure to. Two years have passed, and you still haven't watched Hot Rod. Yeah, we all kid ourselves when we tell our peers that we'll check out that movie, book, game, show, or whatever they recommended. Not that we're deliberately trying to blow them off, the mind just shifts its focus to other things soon after a conversation like that. As such, it can be easy to forget that you wanted to catch up with that thing that caught your interest. At least, it's easy for me to be that way, since I'll get home and think about like five other movies I would want to watch, having forgotten that someone had already given me a good recommendation earlier on in the day. Perhaps if you're like me in that regard, consider Consider this piece of advice. If you're engaging in some water cooler talk with someone at work or school, or if you're just chatting with a friend or relative, and you get a movie recommendation in any one of those scenarios, write it down somewhere, whether that be on your phone or a post-it note. That way, if you plan a trip to the library, you already know what to look for. You can even skip some steps by checking the library's online inventory for whatever you wrote down, and then placing a hold in case they have some copies to lend out. And even if that doesn't work, allow me to share yet another tip. If I go to the library but don't have have any specific movies in mind, then I use a random number generator once I'm standing in the movie section. I'll set the range between 1 and 26, since I use the RNG to determine which letter of the alphabet I should search movie titles for on the library shelves. Number 1 corresponds with the letter A, number 2 goes with the letter B, number 3 goes with the letter C, and so on. For example, at a recent trip to the library, I got the number 23, so I looked for movies whose titles started with the letter W. Because of this, I checked out Wayne's World, which I'd been meaning to 
to watch for quite some time. I may not have ended up loving it, but I was grateful that this little exercise convinced me to finally watch it after all these years. Examples of other films that I discovered due to the library include, but are certainly not limited, to Rebecca, The Treasure of the Sierra Madre, No Country for Old Men, Before Sunrise, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, and a substantial amount of the films by Studio Ghibli. Give this little RNG activity a try, for it can compel you to broaden your horizons and try out movies that you normally wouldn't watch. And really, that's where the power of the library truly lies. I value the library not just for the fact that it's a place where you can find movies for free. It's a place where cinema can truly be discovered and appreciated as an art form. Just like the other art forms that are cataloged in these public spaces, films of all eras and genres can be appreciated by the masses. Film history doesn't have to be reserved specifically for people who study it at university or for people who pay for services like the Criterion Channel or Mubi. Anyone can seek revered classics out on their terms at the library. And hey, if you want some guidance in your quest to understand cinema on a deeper level, there are lots of great books in the library centered on film history and criticism. Read those in conjunction with the films you're trying to wrestle with on emotional and intellectual levels. I started this video out with the idea that the library can be used to pick movies out for more social gatherings like parties and a chill movie night with your significant other, and that's still the case. There is room to find movies that are just entertaining and don't demand much more from you than that. But if you dedicate some time to finding some unique and special movies at the library, you may find that there is much more that cinema can offer your life than you originally thought. There are so many voices clamoring for your attention, and if you seek them out, you may be entreated to stories and lessons that could genuinely change your life. So, go to the library and discover what those could be. And that's it! Thank you so much for watching. Please consider subscribing and leaving a like on the video, for doing so really does help the channel, and I will see you all in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.